What is up, everybody? This is your boy Jack. Why you going to do that? I'm here with yet another my thoughts on. Now, usually I only cover like one subject per my thoughts on, but because of what's been going on, and there's been a lot going on in the last past one to two to three weeks, I decided to cover as all the stuff that I just have an opinion on in this one video, hopefully shorter than 14 minutes. If it's not, it's, it is what it is, but hopefully I'll try to aim for that. So with that being said, let's get down to it, shall we? Now, first things first, I want to get down to the headlining news of, well, the most important news that's been circling around for about two weeks now, and that is... In today's news, Kim Hyun Jung of SS501 has been reportedly charged by the police in Seoul with aggravated assault to his girlfriend. More news after the break. Yes, everyone, SS501 or SS501, whatever you want to call it, Kim Hyun Jung has been reportedly uh, charged with abuse on his girlfriend. If you guys don't know who Kim Hyun Jung is, he's actually a member of. SS501, double S501, whatever you want to call it. And, but he's currently acting right now because the group has been on a very, very long hiatus. Now, when this news first came out about a week ago, it was just circulating as a rumor. But then police officers had came out and said, yes, they were charging him with the crime. And then evidence started to pile up on evidence and more evidence started to pile up on that evidence. And it just became clear something happened. Police officers have uh, released statements on what's been exactly been going on. So they've been keeping the public very well, you know, informed on the whole subject of what's been going on. And so there's not a lot that's not known by the public or what the police have found out in their investigation. But it seems to be, well, to me, it was, it was one of those moments like where, you know, in the beginning, you're like, he didn't do it. He did not do it. And after a while, it became like, well, that was unexpected. This moment was like that for me because at first I was like, no, 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 because I am somewhat of a Double S501 fan, but uh, I, I do like some of their songs. But I was like, oh, no, no. And it just came in the fact that you never want to see anyone in the public eye who's supposed to be looked at as a role model and including known as an idol. You never hope that this is happening. But when evidence started piling up, it's just hard to, you know, not say, well, he needs to be brought to justice. And that's my opinion on it. He has to face his consequences if he's done this. Basically, it started out because she confronted him on having an affair or seeing another woman and obviously he got pretty mad that she did something like that so he he put the paws on her so honestly i like i said if she if he did this he needs to face jail time he needs to face the consequences no matter who he is and if she lied which is looking more like she isn't she needs to face the consequences it's just how it goes however i do want to talk about something that that associates with this now me personally to avoid like mistranslation i always go to dispatch sports soul and naver.com all those those uh you know news headlining sites in korea and i go and read it myself so there's nothing mistranslated but i do use websites like moonrock and all k-pop simply because for a lot of reasons other people use it for the comments. I usually go on there to just see the comments that other people post. But recently, as I was scrolling down on the article about Kim Hyun Jun, and I saw a bunch of comments. And at first, I had to scroll down and scroll back up and then, you know, you know, wipe the crust out of my eyes and do all this because I'm swear, I swear, I, I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff that to me was like, really? Wait. Did you just say that? Some of these comments not only accepted but condoned the actions that Kim Hyun Jung did. And and some of them even in some cases were weren't weren't just none of them in from what I've seen were like Opa didn't mean it. It was Opa should have hit her more. Wait a minute. Wait. 
Wait a minute! Hey, hey, l let me say something. Um, I don't know if the the thirst is real over on that fangirl side, but there's there's no reason whatsoever for a person to put their hands on another person, especially a woman. Now, I do know that a lot of people can be trolls and say certain things, but in this case, that's one of those things you just don't talk about. Especially when some of them say, I, I wish I was hurt, he could hit me all he wants. What? This absolutely makes no sense. Either you're a troll or you have absolutely no self-esteem. The point is, he shouldn't be laying his hand on anybody, for especially the reason of her confronting him about being a cheater, which she should have done, that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Bottom line, he should face crime, he should face justice if he's done it. And you fans who feel that way, you, you need something really done to, to help you. Now the next topic is about what you saw in the beginning video before the intro, and it's obviously about BAP's Bang Young Guk, the enlightened one. Yes, because if you guys read his tweets, this guy must be a philosopher or something. But we're talking about his Viva La Revolution tat going across his body. Now, when photos and videos were posted about Ben Young Gook's uh, tattoo on his chest, I swear almost every fangirl's ovaries exploded like 4th of July fireworks. People were going crazy. Did you see it? No, did you see it? I saw it, but did you see it? It was crazy, but then there were the fans who were really, well, let's say butthurt. Those are the fans I want to talk about. A lot of them were commenting on how they were saying he's rebelling against the system or it's bad that he's gotten this type of tattoo. Now, I don't know if, it's, if they're mad because of the fact that he has this large tattoo scrolled across his chest. Or if it's a Spanish tattoo. Now, honestly, it, to say to that, if it's a, if you're mad because it's a Spanish tattoo, it makes absolutely no sense. Because he, out, two out of three tattoos are Spanish-based tattoos. And he's w worn something with Cuba on it. He's said a lot of things that a lot of uh, Latino revolutionists have said in the past. He's a big fan of a, 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 a certain Spanish civil rights movement leader. So obviously, Ben Young Gook is very into the Latino culture. But if that's it, then I don't understand why, because that's being very, not racist, but stupid, outed by discriminatory uh, feelings towards it. But if it has something to do with just because it's scrolled across his chest and you feel he's getting too many tattoos, obviously, for you guys who say that you're fans of BAP, and especially Ben Young Gook, you guys know this guy is an independent thinker. He's a thinker. He he likes to think. He likes to state his opinion. He always states his opinion. BAP is a different group for a reason because they don't make the regular idol type song. They make songs with meanings. So when you honestly think about it, he's really being himself. And if you can't accept that he's being himself, well, that makes absolutely no sense. You're not a real fan. You're just a fan who likes the idea of what he was in the beginning. Honestly, it makes no sense for you guys to hate on him because he's getting a tattoo. The man is a free thinker. He's a grown man. He makes his own decisions and rolls with the consequences and re or rewards. That's how it does. Now, honestly, if some of you guys are mad because he has a tattoo or is getting tattoos, then... Guys, I say to you, you better get a bottle of Tylenol ready because you are going to get a huge headache for all the raging you're going to do because did you guys see that video of him when he was getting the tattoo put on? Man was on chill mode. He was iced. He was cool. The guy was not bothered by it one bit. So it might come into play that he's going to get more tattoos. Really? I said might. 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 The next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, Bang Tang Boys, BTS. As you guys know, they recently released their first full-length studio album, uh, Wild and Dark. I'm going to be doing a album review of that very soon, so look forward to it. Also done a music video reaction to Danger, which you can check out right here.
But as you guys can see, they've been taking on the hip-hop concept fairly and truthfully, like they say they were going to do. They debuted as a hip-hop group, but they wanted to be fully recognized as a hip-hop group and understand the meaning of it. So, that's where American Hustle Life came into play. And they went to L.A. to learn about the roots of hip-hop. And they came back, in my opinion, a stronger group. They've learned the roots. Now, that comes into play with people being upset because they don't like American hip-hop. They, they feel that if they get into American hip-hop, it's going to be bad. They're going to start acting bad. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That stuff that's portrayed in American hip-hop is not American hip-hop. It is rap, maybe. It is a part of that wide range of stuff, but that's called life. People do it regardless of if they're in American hip-hop or not. People did it in rock and roll, but no one seems to be talking about that. This whole perception that American hip-hop or black culture is bad when it's fully consumed by another race is stupidity. If you go by stereotypes, it's going to be bad. But when people start learning that black culture isn't sagging pants, rap music, talking and slang, then the world will be better off. Because that's not black people culture. Black people culture is about the struggle and over and prevailing over every odds. That's the culture. Not this whole ordeal of being a bad person or being a thug or a gangster. That's not hip-hop culture. Hip-hop culture is the struggle. That's what real hip-hop culture is about. A lot of people from the comments that I was reading, people were upset that BTS was hanging out with black girls. What? Why does it seem to be a big problem when one of your faves is hanging out with a black girl? Are you jealous? What What are you... I, honestly, those black girls were looking pretty fine to me. Did you see them? They weren't no... Like, they weren't... They were on some top par level. Them girls had it going on. You upset? I'm over here. Mmm, get it. It is a lot of stuff going on in that... In those shows that I condone to the highest. They're over there getting, mixing themselves in and learning about different cultures and you over here being upset because they're sitting with a black girl, you act like they over there making out. You act over there like uh, Nanjun's over there copping a field, slapping girls' butts. You over here raging that hard because he's over there sitting with a black girl. Now honestly, this is not all Korean fans because a lot of Korean fans don't even care. A lot of this is international fans. This is what's getting me. You are people who know or have experienced it in some way firsthand what hip-hop culture is and yet you call it bad? Research something. How can you say you only know K-pop but then proceed to going into a long list of things you call as facts about American hip-hop? If you know nothing about American hip-hop, stay in your lane and don't talk about it. Tony J or Coolio, none of them the rappers there were teaching these guys how to hold a 9mm, how to rob a liquor store, how to hit on people, how to talk about girls in disrespectful way. They were teaching them the roots of hip-hop. That's all they were doing. Now, if you can't understand that or allow that, some of you guys don't even realize when you say some of this stuff, you're the biggest hypocrite. Because while you're saying that you're over there wearing a snapback hat and wearing these jeans and all these style and fashion that was inspired by hip-hop culture. Some of that stuff you wear, your faves, people like C.O. Taiji, YG, and Lee So Min, yes, even Lee So Min, are inspired by hip-hop culture. The last thing on my list happens to have to do with G-Dragon. Fans believe G-Dragon is depressed. And honestly, I say to that, I would be too if I kept being followed around all the time. Opa, Sarange! Salamu Jinunda? Ice. Sejang Sasen. And honestly, let's be serious. People thought. When G Dragon posted on his Instagram, Can I Live? People were assuming, <gasps> G Dragon, G Young, he's gonna kill himself. No, 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 no. You misunderstand. 
G Dragon is perfectly fine with his personal life. He's perfectly fine with that. Nothing is wrong with it. Of course, he suffers from sleep problems every now and then when he's working on any big projects. Hint, hint, Big Bang's upcoming album. But it's not his personal life. His friends, his family, his work, it's fine. It's the people who constantly interject themselves when they ha are not friends, when they are not family, when they are not acquaintances, when they are not people he works with on a regular day basis. They interject themselves in his life because they feel some entitlement because they are his biggest fans. Yes, I am talking about the Saisong. In retrospect, Saisong's thinking is since we are huge fans, we are entitled to go around and follow you. No, that is called stalking. And honestly, a lot of them think there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. So if there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, let me just find the hottest Saesong fan out there, follow to not only her home, but her job or school, wherever she goes during the time, follow her to restaurants, follow her to, fan, to you know meet with friends and family members, even show up at her wedding if she's going to be at a wedding, call her at her house no matter how many times she changes her phone number just to get rid of the fact that I keep calling, write her weird, discreet, crazy letters, um, just send her some of the weirdest things, maybe and even in some cases try to poison her because something happened like that. Maybe even I'll try to kidnap her. Who knows? So let's be clear, that's wrong? Okay, so why is it okay to do it to an idol? Honestly, this is becoming a bigger issue now that it seems like G-Dragon's on and in, off again girlfriend Kiko, are they're getting back together now. And people are snapping pictures left and right trying to figure out, well, are they dating? Are this going on? Listen, it's fine to be wondering about certain stuff, but don't intrude in this man's personal life. That's the problem. He's not depressed. He's pissed. Listen, everyone likes their own space. They like their own bubble, their own personality, their own privacy. If you want that, serve right to the other people. And I know a lot of people say, well, they wanted fame. This comes with fame. No, 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 no. This doesn't come with fame. It comes with craziness. That's crazy. Fame and being a supporter and being a fan is one thing. Being a crazy stalker is another. The whole underlining thing about this My Thoughts On video was the fans. Each and everything involved in this was because there was a problem with the way a fan was thinking. Whether they condoned an action, whether they didn't condone an action, or whether they were upset with the way a group was going and what direction they were going, or if they were intruding in somebody's life, it was about these certain type of fans who have lost, most likely have lost all concept of reality. They've been staring at the computer or TV too long. Now their brain has become mush and they, they seem to forget the, the line between what's right and what's wrong. That's what the underlining part about this My Thoughts On is. K-pop and music in general Entertainment in general is here for us to have fun, not to indulge ourselves to the point where we seem to want to place our lives and how we think and what we personally believe on other people's and intrude in their life and think how things should be go doing. It's okay to give your opinion, but when your opinion becomes a, a problem when it looks like fact and it's stupid as well, that becomes a problem. As I always say, this is a free country, and it is your mouth, and you're able to have freedom of speech. And everywhere, most people have freedom of speech. But it is also my freedom of speech to call out BS when I see it. And so, that is my thoughts on. So, you can follow me on Twitter, at Jarley, G-J-A-R-D-L-E-Y-G, no space. Follow me on Instagram, at JackSpaz, J-A-C-S-P-A-Z, -Z, no space. Check out the official MySpaz 13 Productions Tumblr blog by at wwwmyspath 13 productionscomblrcom And if you missed any of that, that is in the description box down below. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section down below. Like I said, rate, comment, and hit that subscribe button down below as well. And check out some of my other videos. And there will be more videos coming. 
know, as usual, until next time, everyone. Let's say, bye.